It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Soviet Trotsky series. Okay, so we've managed to do uh, a lot of damage to the Raj. Let's have a look at the capitulation. Raj is 47%. The unity is 68%. Ah, but we've not taken their capital. That's probably the deciding factor right now. I think we're crossing a river here, and we're going into urban terrain, so that's not going to be breakable. Okay. And uh, you guys are rushing in. Probably going to get encircled any second now. But this is the key fact. If we can take out this city and grab some of the southern cities as well, we've got it. Go here and here. Yeah, I think the only big city that we've not already got is actually their capital. Um, is that not doable? Nah, the river's just too much. The river's really hurting me. Go here, 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 and then here, and wrap around them. Actually, we could... Nah, I can't get over that river, though. Um, okay, so that's good here. We're taking care of the snake here. We've forted this up in the Suez. Uh, they're pushing towards our main Stalin line. Is that the Stalin line? I'm not sure. And uh, also we have some tanks in the Norwegian Nord Nord area that is locked down. So right now, for the most part, we are locked in all the areas that we need to be. Japan is not at war with us. They're not even in the Allies, are they? No, they're not. That's actually good news because that means that's something less we don't have to care about. Our navy, on the other hand, is taking care of uh, the Straits of Malacca. Yes. Uh, Tanks-wise, I think we need to shuffle these to the top. I know. How, oh, God. How many comments have I read recently about people being triggered that I won't change the trade laws? Oh, look at those numbers, guys. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, guess what? I ain't changing them. I ain't changing them. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, so I know that when we get into Europe, steel, aluminium, and even tungsten to a degree will be sorted. Rubber and oil, on the other hand, not so much. We are working on synthetics. So when we do get to that point, we will sort that out. Yep. Yep. There's absolutely no one we can hire. We don't want to go democracy. Okay. All right. That's fine. Let's go. Let's continue. So you are taking care of that. You're going here. I have no idea why he's still got so much speed. He should be going one kilometer an hour because he's out of supply. Straight to Malacca. Engaging British convoys. Hitting them from a distance. That's good. I want to shove those to the bottom. Yeah, we really desperately need oil right now. Which is a good thing, because we'll we are going to get some oil when we get here. Uh, well, actually not here. But there's lots of oil in uh, Indonesia. Okay, that's good. Alright, um, so we're going to wrap around the back here. Go for speed. So we can go here from here. So should push them back. Can't pierce the tanks. Bit of a delay in game. I never noticed that. Like an input delay. That's a new one. Baltic states have supply. They're making a push into us. They ain't breaking through though. We have air control too. Oh, it's because we've we're overstacked our airfield. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's make a big stack. Go here. And then do that. Should be enough planes to bring it back. Oh no, not enough. How many planes have we got? Oh, we've got so many. Don't know why, but we're sitting on so many planes.
There we go, that should be enough. Yep, yeah, that's good. Now we have control, perfect. We're gonna move these tanks in a moment when we get relieved from these dudes. And these are all assigned to here, aren't they? I don't know why they're not railroading though. Railroad. Mid-Atlantic Gap. Oh, just our subs. India supply issues. We're wrapping around the back of Delhi. That's perfect. Should be able to get a nice encirclement. Oh, by looks of things, we should be able to push them all the way out. I'm getting quite a lot of comments about choosing the, the uh, air designer as well. Everyone keeps saying to me, Dave, do you know that when you get the air designer, it only affects future aircraft that you've constructed? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know that, I know that. I, I don't think I've ever gave the impression in any of my videos that I don't know that already. Um, yeah, I'm, the idea is, I mean, the reason why I went for the naval air designer, well, actually, the idea was to go to heavy air. Is it the heavy air? Yeah, there we go. The medium aircraft design, we get 20% reliability for the tactical bombers, which is really good because it lets you assign more, I don't know, into air attack, for instance, or ground attack or range uh, without needing to put more points into reliability. Uh, in this case, I went for naval design and it gets me extra range and attack, which probably two stats that I won't probably take that much advantage of. And maybe I'll take advantage of the attack, but not so much the other ones. Not so much the other ones. All right, okay. Are we done with uh, India now? Nope. Aggressive. Aggressive. Where is the... Oh, okay. The capital is in Burma. I want you guys to go here, then here. Very rough terrain, so they're not going to get through there very quickly. Central Russia. They're bombing us. And I don't care. Ooh, big attack here. That's a lot of planes. That is a lot of planes. So they've not got air superiority. And it's amber, which just means that it's contested. That means no one's getting a bonus. I believe that's what it means. They will arrive 12th of uh, December. Okay. Losing convoys. Those are the ones we're sending to Portugal. When are they going to arrive? They're going to arrive 12th of December. Okay. All the southern cities are taken. Just the ones in Burma, really, and the odd bits of territory that we've not completely unabsorbed. Where the hell are you going? Yeah, this is still contested. Whoa! What the... Is this a tiny airbase? I didn't realize it was so small. There we go. There's no way of air, full air control. I don't think that makes a difference, does it? Because air supremacy only reduces enemy defense. But does it reduce enemy breakthrough? I never realized that. It does. I never knew that. Wow. Okay, learning new things. I'm going to get shit in the comments for that, aren't I? But Dave, I can't believe you didn't already know that. Okay. Okay. Lessons have been learned. <sighs> okay. So, that's all good now. We're holding this area. That's fine. We're not going to push into Africa, but we could take advantage of a bit of rubber, which could be nice. But then we're always going to get that from refineries anyway, so that's not really that worthwhile. And... Yeah... I think up to level 8 will be good. 8 and 7, yep.
There was literally no more victory points that I can see other than the three in Burma. One, two, three. So we're just gobbling up land to make them quit. 96%. Let's go five speed. And that's it. Capitulate. Boom. What? There we go. Oh, can I go that way? Okay. Go here, then here. Here you go. There is one port here. Oh, we've got one tank here, so this should be able to push them out of the way. Should be able to. So we're going to research jet engines, weren't we, so we can go for the better tacticals. Yeah, let's do that. More tanks. And the big heroic push. Man, there's so many divisions here. And uh, no further gains. All right. So you guys are all in position now. I want you guys to go to here and then here. I don't know why you're walking. Railroad. Finland landing, Arctic landing. Hmm. Doing really well with the convoys. That's good. All oh, winds mainly. Doing lots of damage, that's perfect. Where's my fleet? It's still here. Oh no, it's repairing. Sixth of January. Next next day. Is it back out? Yep. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have out here? Isn't there a bug on this tile? No, it's not this tile. There's one of these tiles that has a bug that if you cross over from it, you don't actually get the river penalty. Uh, we need close air support. No, we actually need tactical bombers. Where are they? Tacticals. No. Go here and go here. Yep. Less than a day? What? No, that's it. That's fine. They're holding now. Yet again, you're walking as well. Railroad. Oh, I realize why they're... Okay, I realize why they're not railroading now. Because they can't railroad to this tile because it's in combat. Okay, the AI, that's a bit of a bug on the AI's hand. <clears throat> on the AI's behalf. Okay, so that's fine. We're all locked down now. India is ours. Uh, do we need the resources? Probably not. No, we actually do need the resources. What am I kidding? Trading with 35 nations. Interesting. I bet they're all minor powers. Oh my god, the snakes. We should be able to catch up to them too if we keep going. Okay, so where do we prioritize attack next? Um, I think these guys should just stay here and suppress this zone. So hold ports and suppress. And this is all locked down anyway. Tibet? Okay. Is this the wrong guy? No, it is the right guy. 
For some reason it's show not showing the colours. It's bugged. Anyway, regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so we're going to Raj and UK. Done. The Free Democratic People's Republic of Manchuku. Yep. That's a thing. I'm trying to think how we're going to do this. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think how we're going to do this, because if we just do an overall massive assault, it's not going to work. I think we have to keep, we have to keep doing encirclements on them over and over again to try and wean down their numbers a little bit. We'll get rid of that, so I'll stop clicking on it. Uh, I'm going to go for this one because the cruiser one, the second tech. I don't need to worry about that for now. We are doing reinforce. We're only going to train one tank division. Refiner is almost done. Okay, so we have access production. Hmm, what do I do with that? This is good for two things. One, supply, and the other thing is it's good for when we build refineries so we can build them pretty quick. Uh, we'll go for an eight one again. What's this? Mongolian infantry. Do we need to worry about these tiles? No, let's not bother. There's a lot of infantry we've got here as well, isn't it? I'm really surprised I'm not trying to land on us behind here. Hmm. We are taking out so many convoys. We're at war with Mexico. Yeah, we are. I always like to have a, lot of a cheeky look to see what ships I'm taking out. I'm really disappointed that AI doesn't try to bunch up all of its navy into a big super stack and try to intercept you. They just like feed, trickle feed you ships and it's kind of annoying because you never really feel like you're taking on the full blunt of their navy, you know. The UK has a fleet of 100 ships. France is about 20 odd. U US is 200. Japan, 5. No, okay, that's fine. 25 for Aussies, New Zealand 2. Okay. What about Italy? 2. Germany? 0. Why are you attacking? They have got so many planes. This is the American production because their sliders all the way. And because of that, they can do some insane damage. And I'm actually really surprised. Uh, is it because we're too far away? I'm really surprised we don't have air supremacy. I'm really surprised. Okay, gonna go here. It looks like they're about to break out, but then they're not. Is it because they broke the forts they have? Okay, that's something I wasn't prepared for. So these are the areas they seem to be making the most gains. So let's punch these areas up a little bit higher. Give them a little bit of a... A little bit of a boost. So surprised they managed to break through as well. Well, not break through, but... Almost win the battles, put it that way. We're going to have to assign more planes here. I think we are, aren't we? I 
think we've run out of planes. Yeah, we have. Yep, we've run out of planes. Okay, is there any other planes elsewhere that I've forgotten about? Yeah, there are. Okay, that's uh, that's actually a good note to know because that means uh, we've not maxed out all our capabilities. As if we still don't have enough. We do have slight air supremacy. Superiority. We have a slight air superiority. But it's only slight. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's going to help me, but it's clearly showing that in the north we're really holding, but everywhere else we're just not doing too well. I thought we'd max the forts out here, but I guess we hadn't. That's really surprising me. If it, that's a true fact. If we lose that area, we're going to be in a bit of a sticky situation. So what we're going to do is go here. And go here. I can't believe we still don't have full air control. We are shooting down a lot of planes, though. What's the maximum number of planes? Spiteful submarine spitefuls, okay. I should have done that because now I broke attrition, haven't I? No! Oh god damn it. Yeah, I forgot to cancel the orders. Alright, there we go. Alright, that should be enough. Whoa! Why have you left a gap? The gap is freaking me out. Go here. Actually, you've got to stay here. Alright, go here. Here, here. I'm gonna help them out as well. And then help them out again. Yep. Gets the full combat width. Go here. Um, what's the reason we work down here? We were going to go for naval efficiency, but there was, was there another one? Air supremacy is a good one. Yeah, let's go for that. Not you. We have air control now. That's nice. Arctic Russia. I'm not over. Oh, okay, they are landing. Okay. I have a feeling because the AI is maxed out its slider. Oh, crap, I've done the wrong thing here. I want to do support attack. Support attack. There you go. There you go. The combat width's massive. Okay, so yeah, so because the United States player is maxed out. Um, we're probably going to have to burn all its manpower away. So look, right now they're on service by requirement and they've only got 2,000 manpower in reserve, so they're going to have to go all adult so serve eventually, which is really going to hurt their production. So they're going to have a lot of divisions that they can't supply all, all, well, everything for. Are you still here? Oh my damn. I, I don't understand how this guy is still getting supply. Yeah, I don't get it. 
Don't need that tungsten anymore. We're max on tungsten. I think it's because there's a lot of tungsten in the Raj. Yeah, there is. Eastern Siberia. Northern Front. Baltic States. That's 40 divisions. That's massive. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we will pull you guys off. Okay, we realize this point is a weak spot too, so this should be have max ports in it built into it as well. Max ports. What am I even saying? Max bunkers. Ba max foot land force. Okay, four, four. This evidently is a weak spot. Okay, good. Do, 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 do. Okay, great. Wow! That is an awesome landing. Oh, I'm actually really impressed. I thought they were going to drop all their 40 stack on one tile. Now, Eastern Siberia landing, that would scare me a little bit. There's no enemy ships here. And we got hit again. Oh, I forgot. They're probably getting air control here. I've never really thought of that. Crap. Uh, we should build... In fact, no, we'll build a new one. Build a new one... Here. And then we'll be able to get air control from this... from Indochina, Colombia. Let me just repel this pocket here. So Arctic Russia, 21 divisions, nice. So it's starting to look like we need uh, ships here, don't we? Maybe not. Mongolians trying to make a push into, into Norway. Oh. I've got divisions here. Were these meant to be controlling this coastline? I guess so. Getting bombed here. Um, so what were these divisions for then? Were these just like reserves? Can't remember the reason why I've got these. Well, we'll put them to good use anyway. We haven't got enough divisions to hold that, but that'll do for the time being. So this is India. Put this as East now. These tanks, what do we do with them? I feel like I want to keep them positioned here somewhere. Republic of Tibet. Is it because it's a democracy? Yeah, it's a Japanese puppet. Alright, we're going to do that. And then do that. And one of you guys can do the bottom bit. There you go. Perfect. Go for Leningrad. No here. Wow, there's so many landings all over the place. Oh, they've taken the island. You know what? I don't care. You can have that island. Oh, my only ran to. Well, it's a good job we kept these tank divisions here, isn't it? Because these are guys that are going to come, come in handy for this pocket. Iran, Arctic, Northern Front, Serbia, Siberia.
Oh my god, this pocket has really opened up. Alright, brilliant. Okay, so you guys cancel your orders. Go here. Go here. And then... When you're ready, go. <coughs> Still struggling a little bit here. Hmm. Curious to see the fatalities. So we've lost 236,000, which is just shy of a quarter of a mil. Oh, interesting enough, the USA hasn't lost that much. We're just coming up to a million. I thought they'd lost a lot more, but they've not. Okay. Ah! Got him. So he should be moving at one kilometer per hour, where I'm moving at... ...the full four kilometers per hour. Because because I'm in supply, but he's not. That should be how it works. I think it is how it works. As if we can't break that? What? The secret here is taking out these ports. If we can take the ports out, we're all good. This is a level 1 port. It's level 3. Helsinki's level 5, so we need to go for the 5. Middle East. They're landing behind me. Arctic Russia, Iran, Eastern Serbia, Finland. I could grab the Mongolian divisions, couldn't I? I could use those as sponges to kind of absorb damage in other, other places. Really? I moved two, I should have only moved one though. What I could do too is I could expand this to the full combat width. That gets them a little bit extra defense, soft attack and whatnot. Oh my god, we're having trouble with motorized as well. What? Shift that to the top. Yeah, we're having a really hard time. Hmm. Okay, so we've got India locked down. I'm kind of happy with the progress we've made there. Um, repelling most of these little invasions. The one in Finland is going to be a bit of a problem, but I think we can manage it. Some big divisions here. When we encircled these divisions in this little pocket here in Ukraine, I thought we would have gotten a lot more, but we only got about 10 maybe. And you can see, look at this, just one tile here. Look at all these divisions. It's just crazy. Did we put port forts? Yeah, we did. We put forts in Kiev. They just must have stormed Kiev. All right, so now they should be having a hard time with supply, hopefully. Not marked as low supply, though. Oh, wow, they're retreating? What? Okay, guys, that's the end of this episode. Remember, thanks for, for watching this. Thanks for, thanks for liking and subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.